Hello everybody, of course my name is Resonant and welcome back to another video. Now, today in this video, I've had a lot of comments on my past what if videos, saying how do you get that many troops on the battlefield at once? And also, how do you duplicate troops to get let's say 200 Rodok sharpshooters or even up to like 700 Swadian knights? So, I'm going to show you guys today how I do it. So you, can, you guys can do it for yourself, you can do either one of these, you can do both of them or just one, depending on which one you want. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So, you're going to need to download two things. Well, either one, depending on which one you want. The first thing you're going to want to download is Cheat Engine. Now a lot of you will know what Cheat Engine is. Basically, it's kind of a, a debugger kind of thing, where you can change values of numbers in the programs and games and all that kind of stuff. So, you're going to want to go to this link in the description and you are going to want to download it. Once you've downloaded downloaded that, go to the second link in the description and download this. You click download it here and then it'll come up with this and you click download there. So, this is the Warband Battle Sizer. So, once you've got these two things downloaded, I'll give you a quick look at what they look like. This is Cheat Engine here. This is basically the interface it will start up as and Warband Battle Sizer will just be a simple slider where my current battle size is set to 607 so this is kind of something you set mm, like before you start up the game this is something you do while in game so before you want to start up the game you, you choose how many people you want on the battlefield at once um, I wouldn't put it up to a thousand that would just be horrible uh, I normally like to keep it at like 500 uh, I'll just I'll just keep it I'll just keep it there so 507 is what I'm going to put it as um, so basically the way to do this the way to think about this is if you have a beast absolutely beast computer and I'm talking about I high-end i7s newest Skylake processor i7s and like a 1080 or the new Pascal GPUs or maybe even like a 980 Ti and 980 then you'll be able to put that probably up to the high range like so um, I think I could get it up to 800 without going below 30 FPS but I, I'm kind of keeping it here because I like to, I like to record at 120 FPS when playing Mountain Blade just so I've got that extra leg room um, so yeah so I keep it around 500 even though my computer could probably run a lot higher if you've got a really bad computer obviously the uh, the highest you can normally put it up to in game is 150 but so I don't see why you'd want to put it lower because you can just do that in game instead of on here but yeah so around this is a good place for a, a low high range or a high mid range if you know what I mean uh, and then just wherever you think you can test it you can go into the game see if it lags a lot or change the settings down in game because of, of course a lot more units on the battle will be a lot more difficult to run it'll be a lot laggier and loading times will be a lot longer so uh, that's what I'm gonna set it as and uh, yeah it does give you a a bit of a hint there just to say if you don't have a high-end system don't do it too much so this is cheat engine now I'm gonna hop into Mountain Blade Warband and I'm gonna show you what this baby can do right so now we're in the game and you're gonna want to enable cheats when you're loading up Mountain Blade Warband if you don't know how to do that when the launch comes up click configure then enable cheats and uh, also you might want to do enable in launch in Windows mode uh, my computer I can just put it into Windows mode if you don't know how to do that you hold alt and then click the space bar and that will change it between Windows mode and out of Windows mode that is also useful for if you want to just go on something else you don't have to tab out because tabbing out sometimes crashes Mountain Blade Warband so um so yeah, now we're in the game. This is the what if save for the 300 looters, um, as you can see here. And I'm going to just quickly show you how we do this. So basically what you need to do, you need to go into Cheat Engine and click this button in the top left. Select a process to open. So you click that and then you look through. This will be all the processes that are open on your computer at the moment. So you need the application you want to use it on open at the moment. You can see Mountain Blade Warband here, you click open. And that will basically set it so it is now reading the Mountain Blade Warband config files. It's reading every last number, every last digit on Mountain Blade Warband. Now, 
you don't have to mess with this too much. Basically, what you're going to need to do is this scanning bit here is the bit you're going to want to use. So set this to exact value and uh, then go back into your game, go into your party. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have multiple of the troop that you want to multiply, basically. So let's say if I wanted 300 Swadian Knights, I'm going to need four or five Swadian Knights to start with. Um, it, de it depends on, basically, you'll see what it depends on in a second once I show you what you do. Because some values, it can determine the exact value sooner. Or some things, if there's a lot of the same value, it'll take you longer to determine the exact one you're trying to pinpoint. It, you'll, it will all make sense if you don't understand it in a second. So, I'm just, I've got 256 here because I've already done this on this save. Um, so, I'm just going to use this as an example. So, let's say if I want 500 looters. So that number is 256. So if you get the, the exact value, make sure that's an exact value, and type in 256. Now click first scan. And basically what this does is this scans a mount and blade warband for every single value that is 256. So as you can see, that is a lot of things. How are we going to find out which is the one I want? So go back into mount and blade warband and disband one. So that's 255. And what's that done? What that's done is that's gone into the Mount Blade config files and that's changed that value from 256 to 255. So now what you're gonna want to do is change this to decrease value by. Okay? So this is gonna everything that has decreased the value in the like the last I don't know how long the time period is. Anything that has decre decreased its value by 1, which I have, I decreased that from 256 to 255, which means I've decreased that value by 1. So that's going to, if I click next scan, that's going to scan everything that has been decreased by value 1. So we're going to scan that next, and that is the one. See, that one took no time at all. Sometimes it takes three or four goes of decreasing, increasing the values until you find the exact pinpoint you're looking for. But that took no time at all. So as you can see, this is the looter value. Now, once you've got one left, that means this is the exact one you're looking for. Right click on it and click change value of selected address. And basically what this is doing is this is giving you the option to change the value of this value, this bit in the config files. And as you can tell, this will work for pretty much any game in basically any situation. Let's say if you're in a game and you want to mod in money, you can change the value of your money. And uh, I wouldn't recommend that in multiplayer games because you will get banned if you're caught doing it. But single player games is absolutely fine if you want to cheat and get a load of money in something. And you can also do it in other things in Mountain Blade as I'll show you soon. So this is what we have. We said we wanted 500, so press backspace to delete it and type in the new value, which we want 500, and click OK. So this is the previous value, and this is the current value right now. So we can set that, and you'll see this is still 255. So just click Done. That will refresh it. We go back on, and now we have 500 looters. So it's really just as easy as that. So yeah, guys, uh, that is basically it, I guess. That's kind of how you get... 500 troops or it doesn't really matter it can be whatever value you put in so that is how you get large amounts of troops and how you use the battle sizer to download it and change the sizes of your battles you might want to watch out though because in mountain blade let's say if you've got a really high quality troop let's say the swadian knight what i found is normally if i go into battle in the vanilla game i have 80 swadian knights and they have 200 in their army of course, it comes in waves, so my first wave of Swadian Knight is able to take out their first wave, then the next one, then the next one. But the Battle Sizer, because it brings everyone in the whole army onto the same battle at the same time, if you have a few really good guys that otherwise would be able to take out their individual waves, they're just going to get swamped. So what I would say is just, just be a bit careful of that. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this video was useful for you guys, and I hope you guys can try it out for yourself. And, um... Maybe try some combinations out of massive armies and then send them to me in comments. I might put them in a video, you know. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it was really useful to you, remember to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any ideas for massive armies you'd like me to do in my What If series, leave a comment down below. But other than that, I will see you in the next one.